to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Today's video is going to be another odds and ends video, or as I like to call it, an oddments video. This one will be oddments number 89. start out this oddments video with an update, an update on the, uh, the latest Hobo Hilton franchise. Our friend Rob uh, is a uh, Hobo Hilton franchise uh, holder and uh, I, got a, I got a picture sent from Rob. He's at, down at the uh, National uh, Living History um, Eastern Rendezvous down in Pennsylvania. And he sent me this picture from setup day of uh, the Hobo Hilton Poverty Hills uh, <laughs> Adventures <laughs> uh, representative at the, at the uh, Eastern uh, Rendezvous, Eastern Primitive Rendezvous. And uh, it was taken on setup day. That's why uh, Rob is not in his uh, buckskins and primitive attire. Uh, of course, once the event starts, uh, no cameras allowed. So, uh, Rob, I just want to thank you. Uh, when you do get back from the from the rendezvous, I want to thank you for representing Poverty Hill Adventures. Went to the mailbox the other day and boy was I surprised. I got a, I got a package from uh, our friend Chuck and uh, I got to show everybody this. This is, is pretty cool. Um, first off, uh, Chuck needed some, uh, some filler so that the contents of the box did not uh, get damaged. So uh, instead of using, you know, those styrofoam noodles or something like that, Chuck was thinking, and he's got some wood shavings here, and he uh, left me a little note that says uh, that I could use these for uh, starting a fire, which I'm going to do, Chuck. I'm going to start a special fire uh, with some of Chuck's uh, wood shavings in the, in the package was this uh, cool vintage jitterbug uh, lure it's a great big one it's uh i don't know maybe a musky size or something like that it's got, it's got hooks all over it uh and it is cool um i don't fish for muskies uh chuck but i think i think i might be able to catch a bass on this uh maybe a great big uh large mouth on it so i'm gonna take this out fishing uh and I'll, I'll show everybody the video from when I do fish with the uh, jitterbug that, that Chuck sent. Uh, very cool, Chuck. Thank you. And wait, wait till you guys see this. This is cool. Um, those of you that are bass fishermen uh, know about... Um, Plastic worms and fishing with plastic worms. Well, this one here is the is the mother of all plastic worms. <laughs> like I'm just saying, it, that is a one big big night crawler. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's cool. And uh, who knows, Chuck? I may I may try to catch a fish on this. I would suppose that a that a big bass or something might go after a snake. And uh, this is definitely snake size, so uh, maybe I'll take that out fishing also, Chuck. Thank you. Another bag of filler, uh, wood shavings. And a, uh, uh, the best part was a was a very nice note from Chuck. And As some of you may know, some of you that watch the channel, 
Um, in addition to the, the fishing and the hunting and the archery and the black powder and the, uh, just other things that we do on this channel, I started uh, uh, painting old saws. This one happens to be an old carpenter's saw, whether it's an old carpenter's saw or an old uh, buck saw or, you know, big uh, double man, single man uh, crosscut saw. I started painting pictures on it. I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not very good at it, but I'm learning. And with each saw, I get a little bit better. So I had an idea the other day. I had an idea. I've got a great big um, two-man cross-cut saw. And I thought, how cool would it be to include all of you, all of you viewers, especially the regular viewers, uh, somehow incorporate you in this saw. And I got thinking about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to paint a small picture on this, but then I'm going to leave a lot of empty space, a lot of empty space. And every time uh, uh, a, a viewer uh, leaves a comment, a new comment, uh, uh, I'm going to write down uh, on the saw, I'm going to paint their, their name, their YouTube name on there. And this is going to be hanging up at... Uh, the um, camp, and uh, I hope uh, I hope uh, we get it full of names, and and everybody can be uh, in a small way uh, um, represented on this saw. I'm not sure what picture I'm going to paint on it yet. Uh, probably a, a forest scene, maybe who knows? Maybe we'll put Bigfoot on there. Uh, but uh, so if you would like your name on the uh, official, the official Poverty Hill Adventures uh, uh, sign. Please leave a comment in this video and in future videos, and I will make sure that your name, your YouTube name, is written on this song. I forgot, I neglected to mention that like everything in life, there's a cost to having your name on this saw. And it's not a monetary cost. It it's, doesn't involve money. It doesn't involve a donation. What it involves is you and how you uh, can qualify to have your name on this is first leave a comment on, on any of the future videos, uh, this video or any other video. And here's the catch. Here's the catch. This is the, the cost. Do something nice for someone. Doesn't matter who it is, whether it's a, um, someone you know, a complete stranger, perhaps a uh, elderly shut-in, maybe taking a little kid fishing, um, helping somebody out. Uh, do something nice for somebody. And uh, we're going to put your name here on the... Uh, the uh, the official Poverty Hill Adventures song. Some sad news. We had the good news about the Hobo Hilton and Rob at the Eastern Rendezvous, but I've got some sad news. Uh, um, I'm, I'm down to just a little bit of uh, Cheryl's uh, Blackberry jam. I've got enough for, I think, one more slice of toast. And I'd like to thank Cheryl for, for the wonderful, the wonderful gift of, of the blackberry jam. I have another jar that I have yet to crack open um, uh, of, of uh, jam from, uh, from Cheryl. And I'm, 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 I'm waiting on that because uh, once I get started, I can't stop. So thank you, Cheryl. Not much to show on the trail cameras lately, except I do have one pretty cool picture of a heron in the little creek, and uh, I wanted to share it with everybody. Uh, 
I had the camera set up there for uh, several weeks uh, and uh, I finally got a picture of the heron. I started doing some live streams on the channel and uh, boy I'm having fun with them I'm having a lot of fun with them and the fun part is it's just not just not me it's an interactive uh, conversation with you guys also and uh, it's a lot of fun um, and luckily I'm getting some participation from the viewers and we're getting some of the regulars, some new folks, and some interesting folks are, are, are joining our live streams. I had uh, a retired professional wrestler uh, on one of the live streams, and I had uh, just recently, the, the most recent live stream, I had a very nice fellow from Ethiopia. That's right, Ethiopia, and uh, it was cool talking to him. It's winter time. Uh, he told me it was winter time down in Ethiopia, and of course it's uh, late summer, early fall up here. And uh, it was it was very cool conversation, um, and I really enjoy those live streams, and I enjoy talking with everybody and and um, having you guys be part of the channel, part of part of the conversation on this channel and and you know talking about what 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 you're up to and and your fishing trips and your hunting trips and your uh your interests and and all of that and um i'd like to thank everybody i'm gonna try to do some more live streams uh kevin from gobbler's roost and myself did uh, uh two live streams ago from from the workshop here and the rest of the live streams I've done from uh, from the forest, from either uh, tent camp or just uh, out in the forest. So um, thank you, and uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to try to do some more live streams if if we get a good internet signal. And I'm gonna also uh, I had a suggestion uh, that to let folks know ahead of time. Uh, when we're going to go live, so I'm going to try to, in the community section uh, of the channel, um, put out a little notification when possible that we're going to go live, uh, you know, the following day or something like that, and what time. So thank you everybody for participating in the live streams. It's been a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. The Beaver, a magazine of the North. This uh, particular one was from March of 1940. It was published quarterly by the Hudson Bay Company. And uh, what struck me about this uh, one here is the, the cover, picture on the cover is just, just amazing. Got a fella shooting a bow there and uh, if you look close, he has um, snow goggles. Snow goggles, and it looks like uh, possibly a, uh, perhaps a, a caribou uh, uh, jacket on. Very cool cover, and uh, let's see what's inside it. First introduced in 1964 with over 15 million made, a true classic, the Buck 110 Folding Hunter. That's about all I've got for this oddments video this time. Until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep on trucking, and I'm going to borrow this one from, uh, from Chuck. Be good to each other. See you later.